So this is Neil Smith, CEO of LumaForge, at the SimT Conference and Expo 2013 here in Los Angeles, California. It's been a terrific event, a lot of interest in 4K and UHD TV, and we have a very, very nice approach here to get from camera all the way through production and post to delivery into the home. So let me just take you through this one step at a time. So let's assume we have a 4K camera, the, F, the Sony F55, the RED, the Canon C500, all great cameras. We take the files off those and we take them into Final Cut Pro 10. And with Final Cut Pro 10 we do the basic editing and then we use DaVinci Resolve 10 to do the color correction. And then we take those, we deliver those uh, files uh, in, in 3840 by 2160 to our strategic partner Nanotech based up in Palo Alto who is developing a very, very efficient HEVC, also known as H.265, compression codec. And they're combining that software compression techniques with their very, very cost-effective over-the-top OTT set-top boxes for delivering 4K ATVC to the hub. So here is the Nanotech Nuvola MP18, $799. This is both a streaming device and a storage device. So on here we are storing the files that are playing back for $299, the Nuvola MP1 which will be like uh, you know, uh, an Apple TV or something you'll stream Netflix through and that will just stream 4K or UHD TV 3840 by 20. Has Nanotech that um, told you when that will come out? Will be Sometime before Christmas. Before the MP1 will be coming Christmas and we'll be showing it in detail at CES 2013. So for us in the industry HEVC has been ratified, and without that standard, it's not going to go anywhere. But now that HEVC is being embedded in silicon into the chips that are going into these OTT set-top boxes, CES 2014 will be the launch of UHD TV in the home. So you combine HEVC streaming technology with cost-effective streaming devices from Nanotech and 4K TVs from Seiki. This 50 inch panel here costs $1,000 in the US and it has beautiful imagery. So for 4K, $1,000, $299 for a streaming device. All we need now is the content providers and the Netflix of this world and the Amazons to start delivering really good, high quality 4K content into the home and people will start being able to enjoy this during 2014. Uh, will LumaForge be a reseller of Nanotech products? L LumaForge will absolutely be a reseller of Nanotech products. We, we, at the moment, we're a systems integrator focusing primarily on production and post-production line. But what we've realized with uh, 4K UHD TV is that we have to go all the way from the camera, through production, through post, and into people's homes. So we will be, we calibrate these monitors to make sure they look very accurate, and then we make sure the content and the pipeline into the people's homes is 100%. So yes, we will be selling both the uh, nanotech devices into people's homes and supporting them, as well as providing content and systems for people to deliver that to, pe to, to the end user. This is some of the first footage, 6K footage, shot on the new Red Dragon 6K camera. And this is a 6K RAW file, and if you look very closely, you'll see the resolution is 6144 by 3160. 6144 pixels by 3160. And that's compared to uh, UHD TV, which is 3840 by 2160. So the question you ask is, why should we be interested in shooting 6K for 3840? It's a very important thing. We work closely with the camera, man, camera, camera manufacturers, Canon, Sony, RED, uh, Ari, to look at the whole pipeline from production through post-production to set-top delivery. And there's a thing called the Shannon... There's a thing called... There's a thing called the Shannon Nyquist sampling theory. So if you want to end up with a good UHD 4K image, you should always shoot 5K, 6K, the more Ks the better. So we work um, with the, we, we make content, good 4K content, using these high-end 
uh, digital cinema cameras, and then we take that through our conversion process to, to make sure that by the time it gets to 3840 by 2160, it's really terrific looking uh, 4K imagery without any motion artifacting, without any aberrations. So the reason why we're working with RED closely on their new Dragon camera is that if you want to make end up with good looking UHD TV content, you better start with good looking 6K or 5K imagery. And that's why we're in both the content creation side um, and the delivery side of 4K content and delivery. For a thousand dollars, you can't beat them. We have the 50 inch, we have eight of them here on display at SimT. Everybody's happy with the, the look of them. And we have, we use the 39 inches ones in the lab for our desktop monitoring for 4K. And by Christmas, Seiki will also be delivering a new 65 inch uh, UHD TV for around 2K, maybe even be less. So a 50 inch 4K TV for $1,000 or a 39 inch one for $700. Really good colorimetry, you can't beat it. And it's that kind of combination of cost affordable 4K panels in the home with really efficient uh, 4K streaming from Nanotech and our production and post that's going to enable and facilitate the wide scale adoption of 4K in the home.